Viking Preparedness. I am Pastor Joe Fox. You know a lot of people are getting pretty freaked out about Ebola, right? There's one case in Dallas. How many people live in America right now? There's one case in Dallas. Oh, it's going to be horrible. It's coming. It's going to eat us all. It's going to be like the zombie movies they've been showing us for years. Really? I don't think so. Uh, I'm not worried about it. I'm really not. You know, here in the Ozarks, I doubt we will see hundreds of cases, let alone thousands of cases. And there are millions of people who live in the Ozarks. Um, yeah, I'm just not worried about it. Would I take an air flight right now to Africa? No. Would I go to Europe on an air, airplane? No. <laughs> um, I wouldn't. But come on. Here's the deal about Ebola. The person has to be sick to be transmitting it, right? So they already have to be showing symptoms. And it's only spread basically by body fluid. Now, if they sneeze on you, yeah, you can get it. Can it recycle in an airplane? Maybe. Um, but as far as like, you know, you being 15 feet away from somebody, you're not going to get Ebola from them. Don't hug, a, don't hug a zombie, you know? And if it does get bad, I mean, if it, you know, Pastor Joe's been wrong before. Uh, if it gets bad, we've got a plan. It's called a gate. Check this out. Just shut your gate. See, we have a gate. We will shut it. We've already talked to the Shofarians. And uh, we have Shofarians who live on the land. We have Shofarians who live off the land. Uh, but, you know, they're still Shofarians. And they store food here. They have trailers here or cabins here or something like that. And... If it gets really bad, we will say, hey, you guys have, you know, a day or an hour or, you know, 15 minutes or a week, you know, whatever. We'll, we'll play that as it, as it comes um, to get here. And once you're here, we're locking the gate. And once the gate's locked, nobody else can come in. Nobody. No mail. No, uh, please let us in. No, sorry, can't come in. Um, and if you want to leave, you're free to leave. You just can't come back. All right. So that's plan A. Plan B for us, and we're still working out the details on plan A, but I'm sharing it with you so that maybe you can develop something similar. Plan B for us is to establish some type of uh, refugee isolation holding area where people are basically held in isolation of some form for 21 days uh, until they're showing no symptoms and then we let them in. How do we do that? Uh, we haven't worked that one out yet because we haven't figured out totally the close the gate and nobody's in. But I'll tell you this, we can live behind that gate for 21 days. Oh yes sir, uh, you should be able to live in your home for 21 days without coming out. It's not that hard to do. You know, FEMA, the Red Cross Department of Homeland Security has been telling you forever to have several weeks worth of food and water in your house. You don't have that yet? Lock your door. Don't open it to anybody. If you don't open your door to anybody, you can't get Ebola. Don't pick up the mail. A lot of Ebola was spread by the mail uh, in 1917. Not Ebola, the flu. Similar transmission patterns. So hey, we're not worried. Get a gate. Lock your door. Be prepared to stay home. Be prepared to stay home. All right. I might not see you out there.